Okay. The rat man here, rat trapping. April 1st. Snow, snow fall. They can't to school a little early. Me and Joel are out checking some rat traps there. And then a run set. There's the first one of the day. That's number six. I'm just going to go out here and check see if we get one over here. here trapping it's uh, April the 4th the muskrat season week number three I believe and this is the pond I've been getting most of my rats off of but I've only been trapping them in the channel here where it leads to a bigger channel so some viewers have been wondering about what I look for for feed beds and stuff and this is pretty well what you look for you're looking for green shoots that have been pulled out by the root and the root's gone. But this isn't really a feed bed pile. It's just been blown down from all through this pond. It's all down the shores here. So no feed beds yet. They're not ready to sit in one spot. They do when it gets high water. But today, what you would call a bottom edge set. Got a nice muskrat. Well, not really nice. Medium. That's just in there. Trap sits right on the bottom. You get good results from this as long as you keep the channel blocked off. Good catch. See the oils running off the off the glands. They're very potent. That's why muskrats are prone to scent. If you trap a floats and you catch a muskrat, it's a good idea to rub the muskrat on the float and get the scent on it and it'll attract more muskrat into your float or into a float that hasn't done anything for you. 
So I'll go back to the Argo, get the setters, reset this. Maybe it'll be another one in the other pond. This is the rat man here, out on the second pond, trying out my new kayak. I'm checking the float, and for the first, first float of the year, with no trap on it. So I'm going to go over and, and get it. Be the first, first trap check with the kayak, and I got a rat. Pretty good, number two of the day. So this float here is a little different from when I normally trap with the boat. I got a, It's low water so you can't get in with the boat. So I got a stick drove into the ground. I actually walked in and set this aside to check it with the kayak. So you got a piece of parsnip for bait. The muskrats have been on it for a while. You got your trap tied to a fence staple. Let's see if we can get that up. Use, I use number one and a half. Long spring. There's a nice muskrat. Hind foot catch. Pretty simple rig. Piece of cedar split in half, put on a 1x6 with a 1x2 rigger to keep it steady. You want to make sure the rigger is on maybe a little bit of an angle so it doesn't turn on you. I use my axe to pound them in tight so they don't roll. Oh, that's a nice muskrat right there. I'll get him off. Yeah, I'll have to use both hands on that one. I'll get that back on the float, and I got a couple conner bears to check. Call her a day. Maybe go out and around, set a couple more sets. Who knows? Ratman out. So here we're at the next set, not too far from the other set there. It's just up the. right there. Not too far away. Out in the kayak. We got ourselves. Another nice little muskrat. This here is a, a tunnel muskrats have dug leading into a den. I imagine it's up in the bank a ways. The first trap got knocked over a little bit. Not too bad, it still would have worked. And right there. One day check. Let's see if I can get that out. Nice muskrat. So uh, just a 110 on a stick, drove in the dirt, pretty easy set. Not a bad rat, I see a burrock, have to get that out. I'll take him out, reset it. Maybe that's the first triple of the year, pretty good. Well that's a good day. With a pelican 10 foot. Three rats, two, two in the kayak from this pond, and one from the pond down the other way. That's my best day so far. Hopefully, they get better.